then there was none. After beating Shawn Michaels, after beating Triple H, after the destruction of John Cena and the total annihilation of every superstar in my path, I've managed to do the impossible. I have beaten all that there is to beat. And now it is time for the torch to be passed to me. from you. And when I do, Monday Night Raw will never ever be the same again. Congratulations on your tag team victory. Very good. Now, at the WWE's next pay-per-view, Armageddon, I'd really like to see you, the game, in action. You know...
Mr. Hardy, I'd also really like to see you in action. But I don't see you being in a match for your Intercontinental Championship, no, no. But I, I do see you being in the fight of your life. Because at Armageddon, it will be one-on-one. -on -one. Jeff Hardy versus Triple H. Not a popular decision, apparently, by some fans, but King, I've got to be honest with you. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a match I'd love to see. Well, can you imagine Jeff Hardy in the game going one-on-one -on -one at Armageddon? Well, we don't have to imagine it. We're going to see it. Why is he trying to come back tonight in his hometown? Well, I hope it's not to make the announcement that I think it might be. For 15 years, we've got two words for you. It has supplied memories. What you gonna do? Show that will last yes! a lifetime. Same Stone Cold time. Same Stone Cold channel. Shocking announcement by Mr. Man regarding Rip Flair's career. A young man whose career is skyrocketing. Returned last week, Chris Jericho will join us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, live here on Monday Night Raw. But we've got a huge eight-man win victory here tonight, if you will. Well, Flair is going to have to pull out all the stops. That's right, it's a career-threatening match. What an unprecedented ruling by the chairman of the WWE. What a match. Later tonight, live. Joining me now is Jeff Hardy. Jeff, just want to get your thoughts on that blockbuster announcement we heard earlier tonight at Armageddon. It'll be you going one on one against Triple H. Well, you know, it's a uh, honor for me to, you know, face the game at Armageddon. I mean, it's been cool teaming with the game ever since Survivor Series. We've been on a hell of a roll, man. You know, and uh, whatever weird bond we've created is working. I just hope that. Armageddon, don't get in the way of our, uh, you know. Or what? Or what? Uh, our friendship? <laughs> See, Jeff, something you need to know about me. I'm not real good with the whole uh, friends yeah, trust thing. Trust me, I know, I know, dude. I know you know. And, as a matter of fact, as I think about it, I don't, I don't think I've ever teamed with anybody I, I didn't turn on. I just want you to be clear on one thing. I'm an 11-time champion, not because I made friends, because I did business, because I'm the best. And I just want you to know one thing, Jeff. At Armageddon, you're not stepping in the ring with a friend. You're not stepping in the ring with a buddy. You're not stepping in the ring with a partner. You're stepping in the ring with the game. Well, Triple H couldn't put it any plainer than that. Then Jeff Hardy better listen and listen good. That's going to be quite a confrontation at Armageddon. There's no doubt about that. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back live here on Monday Night Raw, indeed in Slayer Country, Charlotte, North Carolina. And later tonight, the incomparable Nature Boy may have his last match when he goes one on one with Randy Orton. And tonight, Raw is being brought to you by PlayStation 3. Get ready to play beyond. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Rick Blair, Arn Anderson, Barry Windham. Man, it's like a horseman reunion. Boy, it's prophetic that those guys are here tonight on what could be Rick Flair's last night. You know, I... Uh... I had to come here tonight just to see you. I didn't know, though, uh, that this might be the last night I ever saw you wrestle. I 
I mean, for me, this industry without Ric Flair is not something I know that I'm ready to uh, put my arms around just yet. But that being said, I have to admit I've never been objective, you know, where, where you're concerned. Uh, yeah, Randy's on a roll lately, Nate. You know, and I know that better than anybody. But I want you to understand something. You are the nature boy, Ric Flair. This is Charlotte, North Carolina, your hometown. You are the 16 time real world champion. And you are the one only legend this industry will ever, ever have. And you are still the wheeling, dealing, kiss dealing son of a gun who just happens to be the greatest wrestler in the world today. I don't care what Randy Orton brings against you. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. And tonight, I don't think he can do it. Thank you. I promise you, for all that respect, and all that admiration, and for the bond we've had for the last three years, I will give you everything you just talked about and more. And a worst case scenario is I'll go out in a blaze of glory. In a blaze of glory, Shawn Michaels. Woo, in a blaze of glory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after reading WWE.com, we were here tonight thinking the worst regarding Ric Flair's announcement, but we got some great news. I have to announce to you that I will never retire. Oh, yes. But then... I will only retire when I'm dead in this ring. Oh, yes. Over my dead body. I've got too much juice left. Woo! But then I'm Mr. McMahon Flair. came out and made it clear that Mr. McMahon controls Flair's career destiny. career will continue on as long as you continue to win because the first match you lose, Rick, your career is over. And then the opportunistic WWE Champion made his presence felt. I want to thank you for the pleasure tonight of ending your career. WWE Magazine presents The SmackDown Rebound. I cannot believe what you did last Sunday at Survivor Series. We're going to crown a new champion! Yes! This was such a great match to see, and then you went in there and interrupted it? Undertaker now has to take a backseat to me, correct? The Undertaker now has to take a backseat to me. Oh, well, yes. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I, I just wanted to thank you. Because I, I wouldn't have been able to pull off what I did last Sunday at the Survivor Series without you. Welcome, baby. So, you know, you can thank me later on. If you like. And the culmination of this plan is next week when you will witness history and I become the new World Heavyweight Champion. 
don't know what the hell is going on between you two, but it makes me sick. This whole thing is disgusting. You don't deserve a world title match, but I'll tell you what you do deserve. Every ounce of this ass whipping I'm going to give you next week. Fifty-seven episodes, over fifteen hundred hours. The undisputed champ is here. What a Monday Night Raw moment! When Raw celebrates fifteen years on the air, get ready for a family reunion like nothing you've ever seen. We've got two words for you, and that's the bottom line. WWE Raw 15th Anniversary Spectacular, a live three-hour special, two weeks from tonight, only on USA. who's about to compete in the biggest match of his life next. 